Recently I discovered Doom Emacs Org Mode and it's exactly what I've been searching for. I'm really excited about this tool and in this short video I'll give you a brief demo of what it's capable of. Okay, so this is the file. So at the beginning of the file you have some metadata about what is the title, you can add other fields as well if you want to like author date so let's do that uh, maybe it's a good idea first to increase the font size so you can actually see something so to add another metadata here you just uh, put like this and it even gives you auto completion and let's say we want to add the date as well and you can use uh, this one and it gives you a calendar and you just pick with your mouse you can easily create outlines by putting uh, stars space and then you type whatever you want for example let's say here you have a line and this is heading one now so that's just how simple that is you can also add a subheading by putting uh, two asterisks You can delete this one, we don't need it anymore. One really cool thing I really love is that you can collapse the whole heading by uh, doing tap and you can also show it. So yeah, here I'll show you a few more things. So for example, this is heading two created with two asterisks as I showed previously. Let's create a heading three. And let's say I want to move this one around. So to change the level, you can just hold Alt and move it around. So the heading now changes. Here is one level, second level, third level, and so on. Heading two. So with Control Enter, you have new headings on the same level. And for example, if I'm here and press Control Enter, it will create new heading one. Uh, I already mentioned the tab that you can collapse and you can even delete it and paste it wherever you want. For example, here, but let's put it back where it was. So that's all about the outlines that I'll mention. Uh, you can also use Markdown, which is basically formatting the text. You can use uh, two asterisks to bold the text, uh, slashes for italics, underscore for underline, and you can use this one as well. Another cool thing is that you can easily create a bulleted list by simply typing uh, dash, for example. It doesn't have to be a dash, but just an example. And control enter, you get a new item. and you get another one uh, but I think that I already have some example inside here yeah I already mentioned about control enter change the symbols of the list by simply pressing shift and left right arrow so you can do this but I'll stick with the dashes and also you can rearrange these ones by holding alt and going up and down with the arrows and you can easily create another item wherever you want let's say i want after the banana to add orange as well so you press ctrl enter and there you have another item and that's it to save the file you press space file save and that's it you can also add uh, links if you want to for example, you can use Ctrl C, Ctrl L. This is a link I've already added, but I'll show you how to do it. You can open the link with Ctrl C, Ctrl O. Uh, but I don't have a browser here on the VSL because I'm using Ubuntu in a VSL on Windows. But I'll show you how to add a link regardless. So you do Ctrl C, Ctrl L, and then it gives you the link. 
Let's copy the link. Uh, this is the getting started guide for Doom Emacs. So let's paste it. Enter and now it asks for description. Let's say getting started right and there we have it now we, we can also open this link by pressing enter but yeah won't work in this case but what is also interesting is that you can actually add a link to another existing node for example you can just do this say that you want to use an org file when you press enter it will give you all the org files that you can use so let's say i want to use youtube and now i have a link to youtube video yes and there i have it so now if i want to open this note i can just go there and here i have another file which i can use uh, there we go and if I want to go back, space, file, recent, I pick this one and there we are. Another cool thing which I really love is that you can easily create to-do lists by simply making a heading as I showed previously and just typing space and to-do afterwards. And also you can have nested to-dos and all that stuff. So now I'll show you that. So let's say you want to add uh, to do here. I want it to be under the to do's. To do, I don't know. Uh, edit the video. So uh, this is the to do. I can have another sub items in this to do on another level, for example. Mm, edit sound. Yeah. Okay, let's say that that's all that needs to be done. Uh, one cool thing that exists is that you can put these brackets and put a slash and it will give you the percentage here. But yeah, also you need to put uh, this here. So you put the brackets and space in between. So, nope. And there we have it. So it says that zero items are complete and we're zero percent. Uh, you can also complete the to do by pressing enter. And now it asks you to a note. In this uh, instance, I don't want to put a note here. So I just control C, control K. And there it goes. It says that it's closed at this point of time. And here it will be the note if you put one. And it says that it's 50% complete. So let's say we put a note uh, here. So note, just to show you how that looks. And here we have closing note and the date. So we don't want to see that. We just collapse it and we can delete it. Another cool feature that we can easily use is time tracking. So yeah, let's say for uh, this to do item, uh, let's say I've started to edit the audio. You can just do the control C, control X, tap. And this one uh, starts a timer. And it needs to pass some time before it's actually recorded. So I'll let that one run and I'll show you the other stuff. And we'll go back to that one. Another cool thing is that you can also add tasks for tasks and whatever else. So let's say in to do so I also have something uh, fun. Play play basketball, for example. The way you add a tag is you just uh, go into normal mode, space, M, Q. You can choose from already existing tags or you can add another one. So in this case, I'm adding another one and there we have it. Then the cool thing about tags is that 
you can use this space open agenda tag search and let's say I want to see all the items with fun it will go over all of your notes that you have and show you the the place when you have used that tag so let's say I want to go here and it brings me in the note where I have it uh, that's quite useful because you can actually create folder where you can put all of your notes and it will pull out every tag from there and that's quite amazing so okay uh, let's say that we now completed the the task so we just uh, do control c control x control o uh, now the clock is stopped and we can see here that we started at this point and it took two minutes to complete this task and we put the task in done we don't need a note and that's it you can also use uh, shift and arrow left right to change the status so these are the states that i have to do pr project waiting for and also done and closed and cancelled sorry but let's put it back to to do and okay this one i already showed oh you or also already have a built-in pomodoro timer that that you can use so you can just do uh what was the shortcut space tt and this one starts a pomodoro timer which is actually quite nice so we don't want to use that one now so I'll just stop it and that's about it you can also create tables quite easily so the way you do it is like this you just put the pipe symbol uh, column 1 let's say column 2 and that's it so if you want to have a uh, uh, this horizontal line you just do this and this one needs to be how many columns you have that's how many pipes you need to have and then you continue with your table and don't worry about the formatting it will fix itself uh, once you go into normal mode again dot one dot two And there we have it. We, we've created a table quite easily and it's quite nice formatted. Other useful thing that you can do is export uh, this org file that I just created to other files that are more useful. For example, you can create an HTML file which you can view in your browser and you can also format that one so it looks nice so basically you can just create a, a website from your node which is quite cool so to do that you do ctrl c ctrl e and here it gives you all the exporting options that that you have so you can even export as a pdf file as a latex file uh, yeah html file and all the things but currently i won't do any of those so i'll just exit and you can also even write source code which is quite interesting uh, to do that you just do this uh, meta tags like this okay i'll show you begin source you put the programming language you want to use so i want to use c plus plus and then you do this uh, and source and then here in the middle you can put your code so let's say include and so on and so forth you can also use uh, control c Strix to open it into a separate editor where you can do this but we don't need so far i love this this tool it's been amazing if you like it please leave a comment a like and if you have some request please share it in the comments